Hello everybody, I'm Brad Means. Thanks for joining us as coverage you can count on begins with schools starting maybe to take on a pre-pandemic look. At least they're taking the first small steps to get there. The story from Columbia County now and News Channel 6's Wes Cooper. Administrators here at the Columbia County Board of Education say it's time to come back. All sixth graders who are on the AB schedule can return to five days of in-person instruction on October 19th. Many other students will also be welcomed back, but in phases, these changes do not affect virtual learners. Columbia County School Superintendent Dr. Sandra Caraway says it's been messy, but the goal is to get as many kids back on their regular schedules as fast as school leaders possibly can. People know that our elementary students have been going to school for the last 10 weeks, and as we look at our numbers, the numbers of 6th, 7th, and 8th graders who have contracted this virus are next to none. As sixth graders make their way back into five days of in person instruction Monday, seventh graders can return October 26th and eighth graders on November 2nd. They will have to practice those same good measures that we have had in place all year long, which is to wear a face covering during transitions and when social distancing is not possible. The board approved that high schoolers can come to in person classes on Fridays. If a student is making C's or lower, it's mandatory they come to school in person. As long as there's the presence of the virus in our community, people will carry different opinions about what's safe and what they're willing to have their children exposed to. Um, we have proven that we can have schools safely. Um, in a healthy, positive way. The school district reported last week 17 students and seven employees are positive for COVID-19. Dr. Caraway says the safety of everyone will remain a top priority. Until the last day I serve here in June, there's no way that I would put anyone's children or our faculty or staff in danger. I'm just not built that way. Dr. Caraway added students will always have the option to learn from home. There are only seven weeks left in the semester and school leaders are hoping that students will be back on their regular schedules next semester. The next school board meeting is on October 27th. In Evans, Wes Cooper, WJBF News Channel 6.